on tonight's Late HP show, let's take a look at true love and spotting contradictions, spirituality, relationships. So your lovely 5D mystic here. What is true love? Well, for one, love is the oxytocin gene hormone, and it's on when you are in a securely attached one-year-old body. Raise your hand. It's called integration of the brain. I'm attachment trauma-informed besides being a lovely 5D mystic. So you will take flight when you know true love because it is the alchemizing of all of the emotional stuff that comes up from you because that means I know how to be my safe haven. I know how to regulate my nervous system, like when I get my panic attack. So I have a one-year-old that got securely attached. That's why I do know how silence is not something scary because I don't have this uh, scary thoughts because I got to have a relationship with my higher self. So for those of us who have integration of the brain, silence in our mind and heart, because all that comes up from the body, the heart, the gut goes through the right mode. So integration of the brain, 5D mystic. 5D is Christ consciousness. Jesus taught me all about unconditional love and forgiveness. So again, silence in the mind is something straightforward for those of us who rule our brain because we can know the truth. So what's the truth? Well, the truth is straightforward. Even before attachment and trauma, I knew that balance was key because my lovely true love, my primary caregiver, taught me all about how to use balance. So how to stay healthy, how to sleep like a little angel. And all people are angels. That's what Jesus and God taught me. I did get taught about that other stuff, the evil stuff, yeah. So what I can do, thanks to being attachment trauma-informed and being a 5D mystic, so I have a relationship with Akash, the plane of infinite possibilities. Also, the relational field. Depends who you ask. So if you ask mystics, the spiritual ones of us, we have a relationship with God, the essence of love and life. Akash, consciousness. You ask Dr. Daniel Siegel, it'll be consciousness with integration of the brain, which leads to change. I don't feel change though. So those of us who have a relationship with our inner world, it's called, I have the sixth sense in addition to the first five, interception, which is why I'm a hypochondriac. Also, FYI, my insula is active because I don't have trauma charges, not that uh, lead me to clinical dissociation. So I don't freeze, but the panic attack, some could say it might be from freezing, because freeze, we all have that charge state, and it stays frozen in time until one thing unlocks, and another, and another, and I have had my kundalini awakening, and that's because I have twin flames, not just one. <laughs> nope, I got three. Okay, so these lovely light codes, any of those 5D mystics, come on over if you want a spiritual awakening guide that leads you to know you don't lose people. No, no, you add to your lovely oversoul, because we're all part of the same cloth. So the truth is that spiritual bypassers, they're bountiful because of people not healing their trauma. They say, I found it hard to believe, Maria. And the first three years of life mean anything. Well, yeah, they do. If you didn't have a welcoming and uniting home, you don't know true love because you don't know secure attachment. So that means that you're going to go as an adolescent and do things that all adolescents do. But some of us learned how to be open-hearted and to build a happy home. And so moderation is key, and it's also called, I don't fear inadequacy when I see adolescents being unkind, not keeping their word at all. And Jesus and God taught me to be humble and to turn the other cheek, but not to actually do any of what they're doing. All that they're doing is in that Luciferian evil stuff. And now that I'm a grown, educated woman, I, I know that that's not... Anything except for where a uh, Michael Stone, forensic criminologist, as he shares, as neuroscientist Patrick McNamara shares, there's a bunch of ways I can explain to you why evil is no longer and never has been something I saw. I told God about it, and now I have proof. It's called trauma information. So anybody who doesn't move into their restorative embodiment self, well, for one, they fall for what I call jackasses. And then there's the spiritual bypasser. So here's where true love is moderation is key. Truth is true love. And so we do know that anchoring, grounding yourself into your earth star activation, it means you overflow with humanity. So divinity has to descend because, you know, learning experiences, that's on our lovely planet earth, Gaia. And we get to use our throat chakra for authenticity and self-expression, which you only do when you're doing what is called dharma 
consciousness. So when you can say to my left and to my right and, oh, look, my thoughts and emotions, they're not actual facts at all. Oh, wait, subjective reality? Yes, that's full of it. So when we have jackasses and the children who are not grown up yet follow them and they don't listen to neuroscience, neurobiology, all mental health and mental hygiene and anyone who's into let's help each other. So true spirituality is a life of meaning and connection beyond the soul itself. Dr. Daniel Siegel got invited to a conference because he is spirituality. And as he shares, reality is a scientist person is going to know they don't know everything because 97% of everything out there is not known. But they won't go around saying reality doesn't exist at all either because they know that that's not really what we want to be doing. So long story short, how do you know about relationships and life partnerships? Well, one, life partners, they don't leave. You don't chase or run anyone, which is why twin flame, it's a thing. Yes, it's a real thing. And any actual feminine will not bother with the um, with what disrespect they've brought to the entirety of what is a very, very um, important relationship. So star beings uh, recharging, wounds are healed. That's where we're at with some of the 5D collective. Fulfilling soul contracts, remembering who you are. Yes, you're a human baby like anybody else. Jesus was a human baby, Buddha as well. So I know people like stories. I like to share technology, progress, spiritual acceleration, memories of Atlantis. So some stories we take to today. And I was at this beautiful event with a bunch of spiritual bypassers. Why might you ask? Because none of them lead a healthy lifestyle. So when you say that the ancients prevail more to you than technology or sciences or vice versa, I know that I have a Cusco in town. It's called the 14 month old who has an in group and an out group. My group is smart people which means the true spirituality people marry sciences. So I can spot a contradiction from a mile away. One, a twin flame or twin flames are soulmates. They're human like anybody else. So they choose if they're going to walk a walk or talk a talk. And like Jesus taught me, I walk a walk and talk a talk. So those of us who do choose love, we don't run away from anything, which is why we will have a functional adult love language. So we seek to completely engage in not giving up on a relationship, you know, till death does part, sickness and health. We don't need to actually tie a knot for that. If I say you're the one, if I say I love you, I mean it. Now, some people, they change because they don't know who they are. Some of us, we do know who we are. That's a true spirituality, divine feminine, which is why, unlike what this rabbi says about feminines and us having a hard time letting go of masculines who want to, no, we have a very easy time letting go of Cusco's and Pinocchio's because we know they're not going to get anywhere because, you know, when you're an adaptive child, maladaptive, only the left is ro the working, the right is not, and I'm going to see you make unhealthy decisions, and I'm going to think of Jesus, God, and then I'm going to say, wow, I'm still serious as a grown human being, but I'm not serious. I'm a healthy, smart human being. Who knows what an angelic voice is and divine support it's called mm, do things not alone because you're not alone you're heard part of a human herd and emotions are a reflection for deeper meaning so your first three years of life they matter because your ancestral realm they're all people from here even when you have star babies star babies know that we're earth babies why because we have a solar plexus that is active we have confidence when you have confidence from the solar plexus and the heart you always know what true love is. It's I won't give up on you like Pacha doesn't give up on Cusco, which is why it's one of the stories that we use at IHP. So we build true love relationships and we support those who want to be reliant on their own sense of self-worth. And then we support our herd to know the whole Luciferian and evil thing. Yeah, we don't need it. We have sciences. Moderation is key. Laws are what we want to put in place as they always have been. You have to wear seatbelts. You can't do certain things, okay? So it's actually something really beautiful, but let's spot the contradictions and support those who want to get out of situations where there's, you know, people who are uninformed and doing spiritual bypass sort of things. So true spirituality, woo-woo lady here, works with sciences people, and then with those who want to heal trauma, and then we create events and situations where we can teach healthy self-worth, integration of brain, restorative embodiment, so that people can have true love, enjoy life without going to any extremes, because the truth is no extreme is actually grown-up land. Wisdom is the balance of all and our voices. We want to balance them with love and, of course, our stories. So tune in for more.